I remember the day she brought Mark home from the hospital, smiling all over her face. And Angie said you would have thought she was the first woman ever to have given birth. Where are you going? Hey, my condolences. Here's a tea. Right, that's ten minutes, then back to work. Dennis has been a great help. Yeah, he's been fantastic. You all have. We're going to pull this off, Princess, trust me. What you got there, darling? Well, there's no point going towards trouble if we're not going to pull in the crowds, is there? Good girl. Well, come on then. I'll give you a hand. Well, I must say, as a family, we scrub up pretty well. I can't believe we made it. Never doubted it for a second. This looks great. I'm starving. Yeah, so am I. Would you not leave it alone? It's oh, leave it all for you. You know what they say, the family eats together, stays together. It's praise, Dad. Mm, I've been doing a lot of that lately. You all right? Yeah, this place, Dad, it's all down to you. Well, I did it for you. No, I tell a lie, I did it for all of you. Me too. Oh, it looks like a ghost. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I didn't expect to see a mission in here, that's all. This is looking really, really good. It's brilliant, eh? Right, Dad. What are you two looking so happy about? This, what we made last night. If we carry on like this, we're going to be very, very rich. Oh, just told your horses. That money's already earmarked to pay off some of our debts. Well, actually, you ought to sit down today and write out some checks. Oh, no, don't do that. First rule of business, never pay on the first invoice. Uh, first rule for ending up in the small claims court, you mean? Trust me, no one in their right mind pays on time. Do you want them to think you're an amateur? Anyway, no breakfast? Yeah, of course. Some give Dennis a show. Oh, don't bother, darling. Didn't come home last night. Probably got lucky. Oh, no, go on, tell me. He obviously doesn't want to, Vicky. Must be hiding something. Yeah. What do you reckon? Hello, you must be Sharon. I'm Chrissy. So how do you two know each other? Are you going to tell her? Chrissy's my wife. This is a wind-up, right? No, it's not. So who is she? How long have you known her? We met in Spain seven years ago. I took a job in Den's bar. So have you brought us any more brothers and sisters? That's a point. Yeah. Why don't you go and get us a drink, Sharon, and then we can all sit down and have a chat. Yeah. I'd be interested to hear what you've got to say for yourself. Any more little surprises up your sleeve? Because if you have, I think I'd rather know now. I'd start to think I could trust you, Dad. But I can't, can I? I told you, Dad. I said after that business with Phil and the robbery, I wasn't prepared to take any more. And yet, here we are, you've done it again. Oh, come on, you can't compare this to that business in the warehouse. The point is, I knew nothing about that. Or that so-called wife of yours. Well, she's my wife. You want me to be happy, don't you? Well, that's all that matters, isn't it? Your happiness, no one else comes into it. You know, it's one rule for you and one for everyone else. I'll be reasonable. No, you be reasonable. You spring this woman on us completely out of the blue and expect us to say nothing and smile sweetly. Oh, she ought to be a fine thing. I'm serious. And so am I. You know, I don't even know why I'm surprised. This is just trademark behaviour from you. It's going to be fine. You and Chrissy are going to get on like a house on fire once you get to know each other. Look, I know change is hard, darling. It's like when I came back, I kept thinking, what if Sharon's turned into a total stranger? But we've not done so bad, have we? I might just have agreed with that until this afternoon. Oh, nothing's changed. Oh, yes, it has, Dad. I thought you stopped lying to me, and you haven't, have you? I have. I've just... Yeah, missed out a few details. Like the fact that you were married. That is lying, Dad. Well, there's a lot of things about you I don't know either. Fourteen years is a long time. Maybe we'll never entirely catch up. Look, it's not that easy for me either. Yeah, well, we're not talking about the past, are we? We're talking about the fact that you've been back here for six months and not once <coughs> mentioned that you'd remarried. Well, you're going to want to get remarried one day and have kids. Well, what you want and what you get are two different things. And when you are married with kids, you don't really love your old dad worrying about him because he's on his own. Well, things may not happen that way. And in the meantime, I'm supposed to get used to this other woman in the house, and for what? So that a few months down the line, I can stand back and watch you treat her the same way you treated Mum? Oh, don't worry about Chrissy. She can take good care of I'm herself. not worried about her. I'm worried about me because I'm not up for that, Dad, OK? And there are some things in life where you'd rather die than live through twice. And you may think I'm joking here, but I'm not. So how come you didn't tell us about her before? Probably because it was still a bit too painful. <laughs> Another messed up relationship. Not something I want to brag about. So rather than face up to it, you pretend it never happened like you always do. Well, what can I say? You know what I'm like. Yeah, I do, don't I? 
Look, the most important thing is us, Princess. We're back together again after all these years. And look, I promise you, I'm not gonna mess up again, not with you or with Chrissy. I owe you. I know I've hurt you in the past and I never, ever want to do that again. I care about you too much and you always were my number one girl. You know that, don't you? Okay, I'll believe you. Yeah, but thousands wouldn't. I never said that, did I? But you're on a warning, all right? She's been down the club all day. Just trying to help. Well, it's got to stop. Look, I was thinking, maybe as a gesture, we should make it official. Give her a share in the club. <laughs> that way she feels that she's got something to invest in. You're not serious. That happens, some of the money I used for the refit was Chris's. Oh. So, yeah, she is part of it. Well, that's your problem. I still don't want her interfering in my club. And she's got to be told in either you tell her or I will. No Pat today. Told you she wasn't herself. We've got some poor bloke locked in the bed. <laughs> See you later, yeah, Dad. Take it. Are you in the VAT today, Dad? Oh, don't remind me. I'll give you a hand. No, oh, that's a relief. <laughs> Dad, have you chased that receipt from the wine merchants? Yeah, but um, I've left it in the other jacket over the house. Sorry. It's all right, I'll go and get it. No, I'll go in a minute. Dad, you don't have to be, you know. I could do it on my own. Oh, don't be silly. You'll be stuck in all day otherwise. Nothing much else to do. Well, whose fault's that? Mine, probably. You should go out more often. Talking about go clubbing every night, don't I? <laughs> no, there's more to life than work, darling. Yeah, no. So get out there, break a few hearts. You're letting the family name down, you know, staying here all the time. I will, in my own time. Now go and get that receipt, eh? Oh, just when you thought we'd get some peace and quiet. I'll see you later then, OK? Bye. So happy about. Well, it's not a crime, is it? Usually means you're up to something. Oh, what is it with the women in my life? Always suspecting the worst. Yeah, when I was a kid, it was either poker games or some dodgy deal going down. Well, I'm off the cars now, darling. I'm the respectable owner of a nightclub. Must be love, then. I'm saying nothing. You don't have to. I've seen Chrissy looking at you. Watching my every move, you mean? Got your number, Ashley. You're not far wrong there, Princess. You know, Dad, I can't figure you two out. You always seem to be having a go at each other. Oh, it's just a way we carry on. Well, I can't see the appeal myself. Well, she keeps me on my toes. I'm thinking of auditioning for the Royal Ballet. Can you imagine me in tights and a poster? Mm -hmm. Hiya. Oh, where you been? Down the club, clearing up. All oh, right. So where's Chrissy today? Oh, she's fine. You could afford me. Things looked a bit sour between you two last oh, night. Oh, here we go. Dad, if you're messing around again, I'll... Princess, Chrissy got the wrong end of the stick. That's all. We're misunderstanding. It's all sorted now. Really? Because I don't want another scene like that again in my club. And I can't handle you not being straight with me. Don't worry, Princess. Everything's fine. I'm going down to see her now. That should shut the gossips up. Right. So will you give us a call when you get this message? So how come you got number with him? Alfred Pauline. Yeah. Oh, more for you. You know what, Princess? Someone upset you? Oh, I think I know what it is. You're going all broody on us. I'm not. Well, don't worry about it, darling. It'll happen for you yet. Your day will come soon. I thought come and join at the club today, Dad. Give you a hand, you know, because well, Sharon's going to be busy, aren't you? Maybe Baby Bobby can help too. Yeah, and Doc Cotton can do the DJing. <laughs> Morning. What's wrong with him? Well, I'll be down in the dumps if Zoe Slater will kick me in a touch. Go to Auntie Vicky. Oh, come you got him. Come on. There you are. What have I done now? You all right, Kate? Yeah. Not boring him, is he? Leave it to me. Pushing the boat out. Put a smile on her face, anyway. Yeah, it's about time. Let's hope by tomorrow I'll have something to smile about, too. Darling, you're down to the final ten. It's got to be a good sign. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully. Good luck, darling. We're going to keep our fingers crossed for you. Oh, look, it's Kate and Ian. Should we get them to join us? I don't think Ian will appreciate that. Uh, Ian, don't get too plastered, mate. <laughs> Please don't do this. Guess what? Guess what? I got into fashion school. Isn't that brilliant? Yeah. There it is. Well done. Where are you going? Dad, what's going on? Oh, well, nothing's going on. We're just having... Your father has been sleeping with Kate Mitchell. It's been going on for months. Behind my back. Behind all our backs. He's lied to you. He lied to all of us. Do you want my advice? Don't trust him. Goodbye. Dad? I don't want 
don't understand. Oh, I understand. Oh, princess. What have you done? Oh, I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you all later. Don't bother. How could you? You promised me! Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, look at the face on it. I thought all of this was supposed to make you happy. Depends what you come back to, doesn't it? Well, you open those. And I'll open this. You gonna have some? No, I'm going out. Do you want an orange juice, Dad? Not unless you two are having some. Are you having a drink? Well, can't a dad celebrate his girl's return? Oh, I thought those watercolours are coming out here. All that design you're gonna do. You shouldn't have bothered. Oh, welcome home. Thanks. Where's Chrissy? You're not gonna open yours, Princess? Yeah, I haven't been to see her, have you? I bet you haven't even spoken to her. Right, Dad, well, I'll do it for you now, shall I? Because, you see, you're not the only one that's been affected by all this, Dad. She's right, you know. You should go and see Chrissy. It's not going to happen. Chrissy. Hi. Yeah, just now. Yeah. No, I'm just wondering when we can come over and see you. Tomorrow? Yeah. OK. Yeah, me too. Bye. See you, Dad. Simple. Right, I'm going out. It's not too late. You could still talk to her. I've got nothing to say. You could start with sorry, unless you're too proud. Never apologise for anything. Even when you're in the wrong? Especially then. You use me. You won't even bother about what had happened to me if I lost my job. You've got other ways to make a living. Oh, your mouth. Bag it. You would know anything about that. How many times have I bowed you out? You think it's all been one way? What have you got that I need? You're a washed-up old bag who wouldn't think twice about selling a mates down a river for a couple of thousand pounds. And you're a pathetic old has-been. I know what I am. And I've got myself respect and all. Makes you wonder why you bother, don't it, Pat, when that's the gratitude you get? Toast. No, thanks. Dad, why are you doing this? Oh, I thought you might be angry. Oh, right, you're looking after us. Same as you were looking out for us when you staked this place on a game of cards. It's nice to know we're in such safe hands. I know what I'm doing. So do I. Dad, you carry on like this, you're risking a lot more than the roof over our heads. I mean, all you've got to do is say you're sorry. So, Pat? No, she had it coming to her. I wasn't just talking about Pat. It's an impulse buy after one too many saying, Ritz. I think Chrissy will like it. Well, what do I know? Yeah, she'll like it. A little reminder of home. Home? No, I fancy. A nice romantic night in the DVD. What do you think? Yeah, sounds good. See you later, yeah? See ya. Sharon, taxi's here. OK. Dad, it's not too late if you want to come. No, thank you. Right. I guess it's just me and you, then. Dad, this is stupid. I know you miss her. She's the one who walked out of here. Yeah. And whose fault's that, eh? Yeah, we had a really good time. Chrissy was on form and looked gorgeous, as usual. Oh, she's good at her job, isn't she? Never looks a day over 35. Takes some skill, that. Oh, uh, does that, uh, Chrissy been treating you? Yeah, Chrissy always did believe in cupboard love. Actually, there's some of her things, Dad. She said she doesn't need them anymore. She's going back to Spain. She's got a flight booked for tomorrow morning. She says apparently there's no reason to stay anymore. Don't stop. Oh, stop it. You might have everyone else thinking you don't give a damn, but this is me you're talking to. I know you, Dad. This isn't what you want, and neither does Chrissy. She's the one that's going back to Spain. Oh, right, so you're going to let it all come down to pride, are you? I mean, what would you rather lose, Dad? A bit of face or someone who really loves you? Here. What's this? It's your last chance. Chris has changed her mobile. It's a new number. Off out, girls. I'll catch you later, Dad. Yeah, probably best. Nice donkey. <laughs> I thought so. Now listen, you better make it right with Chrissy. I am. I will. Good. What was that for? They're driving us all mad. Oh, everyone's hitting me today. Do you want to give me a slap? <laughs> oh, come here. <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought you said you weren't going to hit me. I was lying. <laughs> well, at least the place is still standing. Makes a change from last time. You've got a glint in your eye. I'm not sure I like it. You've been taking vitamins? Nah, I just got my head sorted out, that's all. Worked out what I want, what's important. I'm glad to hear it. 
You don't seem at all surprised by any of this, me turning up, Dennis being out and spying with me. Dad, if you told us what time to expect you, then I'd be surprised. Anyway, I thought Dennis might be with you. Did he tell you why he went? No. Cage as ever, like getting blood out of a stone. Just said he wanted a change of scenery. Do you know anything about it? What would I know? I know there's a question you want to ask me, Dad. So ask it. Has everything been going all right? Are you... Am I over it? No, Dad. No, that's why I'm standing here pining away. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to ask the question. <laughs> sorry, actually. that's not fair. So is it true what Vicky said about you and a boyfriend? Uh, well, no, not really, Dad. I mean, well, I've been going out a bit, you know, dating. But nothing serious, just having a bit of fun. So, yeah, the answer to your question is I'm fine. I'm pleased for you, darling. I never wanted you to be stuck here, hiding your light. Well, I'm not. I'm taking your advice for a change. Getting out there and breaking a few hearts. Just to make sure none of them break yours. No chance of that, Dad. <sighs> Dennis never mentioned any of this. Well, he was probably trying to spare your feelings, but, um... Well, he met this guy, James, who took me out a few times, and Dennis was really happy for me. Dad, you're not the only one who's got your head straight. What's past is ancient history. I mean, there's no use looking over your shoulder, is there? It's what happens next, the future, that's important. And it's taken me some time, but now I know what I've got to do. I've got it all worked out in here. That's a promise, OK? Look, the only reason I go on a pay is because I can. I know, I know. And do me a favour. If any of these blokes look like being Mr Wright, just let me know, I'm begging you. Well, I think Mr Wright should know about it before you do. But, yeah, once he knows, I'll warn you. What's going on? We find nothing. It don't look like nothing. Well, it is. I'll see you at home, OK? All right, darling. What is all this? Just leave it, Dad. I walk in on Chrissy and Vicky early and you could cut the atmosphere there with a knife. And now you two. Just leave it, OK? Morning, Dad. Sleep well? Yeah, like a log. Good. I think I should turn to find a room. They've got a room, Dad. At least they've made up from whatever they were round about. So I'm going to shoot off, uh, see Chrissy sort out a few bits and bobs. What have you been doing all day? Oh, it's so boring. There's not enough hours in my lifetime to go through it. I'll see you later. <laughs> see you, Dad. Look, he's been there and he ain't going back. He'd rather sleep with his girlfriend, not his sister. We're not related, Zoe. You still got the same dad. Dennis and I can handle him. Handle him, Princess. Oh, uh, no and Dad, just some supplier. Nothing to worry about. All right. Well, come on then. Let's get down the club, yeah? Still not pulling his weight. Left me to get the place ready on my own. Slipping back in the old routines. Oh, doubt he ever left him. Well, he's got a lot on his mind. What? Where'd you put the sofa? <laughs> oh, coming back here from Spain, moving him inside. It's not exactly the Waltons over there, is it? But I'm not so sure she's worth all the hassle. Well, it takes a while to adjust, doesn't it? They'll sort it out soon enough. Suppose we should get used to it. She's practically family now, though I can't see Dennis relishing the prospects of wedding bills. You never know. Right, I better get back to work, Dad. Oh, did Dennis uh, mention about Zoe getting a job in the club? Yeah, we did. Well, we could always use another pair of hands. Well, maybe she can start tonight. Well, Karina's working tonight, so we won't need her. I'll see you later, yeah? Right. Bye. used to say that to me when I was younger. I'd catch you staring and say, what? And you'd say, nothing, princess. Oh, the teenage years, where do they go? Everything changed about you so fast. Hair, makeup, clothes. I was scared that if I took my eyes off you for a minute, I'd lose my little girl. Well, you don't have to be scared of losing me, Dad. Not if you don't want to. I don't. But you're not planning on going anywhere, are you, princess? Of course not. 
Now you're staring. You look tired. That was just work. Is that where Dennis is down for tonight? Yeah. Well, he's not supposed to be. Well, I thought an extra pair of hands would come in useful. Maybe I should have seen it sooner. What? You've been working too hard, but don't worry, I'll soon sort that out. Sort what out, Ted? You'll see. How are you there? Hey, you're going to the gym? I am. Uh, I, I was, I did. I just uh, popped in to see if I can get a night off so we could uh, go out somewhere. Oh, funny you should say that, because I've been thinking how tired Sharon's been lately. Oh, no, Dad, I'm fine, really. So I think I've come up with a solution. Surprise. Now we're short-staffed, and as usual, you've borne the brunt of it without complaining, so I've decided to do something about it. Oh, we've agreed a couple of shifts, but if it all works out... Seems fine. I'll keep an eye on it, because things have a nasty tendency of breaking down in this weather. Yeah. Probably going to be quiet tonight, because people tend to sit in front of the fire when it's this cold. Well, lucky them, eh? And then uh, three days of rucking with the family, and then they <coughs> flock to the pubs and clubs in droves, and that's when you'll be glad I hired Zoe. Yeah. You are glad, aren't you? Yeah, sure. I mean, Karina's is working here, and I know you were thinking about hiring other staff, so we should have done it ages ago. Well, it'd be good for her and Dennis. I mean, it can't be easy, him working nights, her doing days. No. And you've got yourself a little helper, and he's spending more time with a woman he's committed to. Everyone's happy. Well, we stood out there tonight, darling, so you can shove off. Are oh, you right, Dad? It's not as if I've got any plans for tonight. No, there's no point you being here. I can manage the bar. Go on, go on. Well, I suppose a hot bath and a glass of wine would be nice. Good girl. Well, look, let me finish what I'm doing here and I'll, uh, I'll go in a minute, OK? And don't go pick up any strange men on the way home, all right? <laughs> I wish. No, don't even joke about it. I remember some of the boyfriends you brought home. Oh, pick up any way from stray, you would. Yeah, because they reminded me of my dad. Oh, thanks a bunch. <laughs> It seems, Dad. Well, come on, Princess, don't be shy. Who's a lucky bloke then? Stacy Slater put him here. She's had someone down here, was she? No, no, nothing like that. What then? Well, she was binding Zoe up, trying to make it look like me and Dennis were up to no good. Well, she was seeing each other again. Yeah. Go on. Well, that's it. Nothing more to tell. You sure? Yeah, of course I'm sure. Seems a strange thing for her to do. Well, she's a strange girl. You're going to stand here all day chatting, you're going to help me clear this up. Why aren't you going to answer that? Oh, charming. It's suppliers. I'll call them back later. Well, I hope that Stacy creature ain't going to be Jordan's for Christmas. Oh, why would she? Well, Zoe's almost family now. You're getting a bit ahead of things, aren't you? No, her and Dennis are good for each other. I hope it stays that way. Yeah. Are you sure I can't drag you away at lunch? Yeah, I've got a lot on. I'll see you later, OK? Yeah, you will. Hello, Princess. I think it's time you and me had a little chat, didn't you? There's something funny going on with you, Sharon, and I want to know what it is. You're scared. It's written all over your face, and I've never seen you like that before. It's as if someone's just died or is about to. What happened with Stacy this morning? All that stuff? Uh, it's just a kid playing games, wasn't it? There's more to it than that. Well, I'm all ears, darling, so don't hold back on my account. You've got something to say out with it. It's about me and Dennis. I'll kill him. Dad, he hasn't done anything. It's me. No, he's the one that's come back here. It's because of him all this has started again. Nothing started. I've seen it with my own eyes, the way you are with him. The arguments with Zoe. But none of that's his fault. He's just trying to protect him. He rejected me. He turned me down. You're right. You know, when he came back, it was, um... 
It was like seeing him for the first time again. It brought things back to me, um... Feelings I, I thought I'd forgot, I couldn't let it go. Are you trying to tell me he wasn't interested? He said he loved Zoe and it could never happen between us. You're just covering for him. I want you to know the truth. There was something between us again. But nothing happened, Dad. He chose Zoe. And now I realise that was the best thing. Swear on my life. Your life. There is nothing going on between me and Dennis. And there never will be. If you say nothing's going on, I believe you. I'll catch you up, Dad, okay? I couldn't do it. Sorry. Sharon? I have to see you. I can't. Oh, come on, Sharon. Chris she's giving me a shopping list as long as me arm here. Why she needs it, I'll find a way of Sultanas. I'll never know. She was very insistent. I'm sorry, I've got to go. Patrick. Hello, Princess. Seen Chirpy? Well, it's festive season. I'm full of Christmas spirit. It's not my favourite time of year. Too many memories. Well, things are going to get better, darling. Dad. Dad, when, when you were in Spain, yeah, at Christmas when you sat down and everyone with their family around and putting crackers, how did you feel? Well, I wish that you were there with me. But you didn't come back. Well, you know, I couldn't. So you carried on, made a new life? Well, I had to. I dug myself into a hole and it was only one way out. So you took it? Yeah. Even though it meant leaving me behind? <sighs> Why are you bringing up all this? No, Dad, I'm not having a go. You did it because you had to. There wasn't any other choice, was there? No. So where are you going? There's something I've got to do. I'll see you later. Sharon? Sharon? Hi. Thought he's down the pub. Nah, Chrissy was in a rush, so she had a quick drink and went back to do some highlights or something. Right. So what's been going on here? Oh. Well, they were piled up. There must be a draft somewhere. I need to make some calls. Okay, Dad. Keep doing this photo sneaking around, Dennis. Then we leave, don't we? We go, me and you. Have you seen the phone book? Um, it's down there, Dad. Where'd you spring from? I saw you come down here. I followed you in. Right? Yeah. You're not going to be hanging around here all afternoon, are you? Uh, no, Dad. I, uh, I just came to pick something up. Mother. I've got to go up the high street. Got more presents? What you getting? Nothing special. You wait for someone? No. Well, I won't be long. Well, take your time, don't hurry back on my account. Well, I'll be back to open up the club, okay? What's going on? You better sit down. Right, you lot. Cards on the table time. What do you mean? No more secrets. Well, out with it then. I've put the house up for sale. You've what? Why? There's no need to panic. I've bought us a flat instead. You bought a flat? Why would you do that? Because it comes with that lovely little pub underneath it. I bought the Vic, sweetheart. 
We're coming up. <laughs> There's too much to take in. There you go, play a mince pies for me favourite customers. <laughs> and a bottle of your best bubbly, please. I'll be still on me turn. Uh, Merry Christmas to you and all, then. I take it he doesn't know, then. No, I mean, don't worry, he's next on my list. How can you sit here celebrating? He's about to lose everything, don't Oh, don't be him. such a drama queen. I'll make it worth his while. <laughs> I think it's brilliant news. Well, I'm glad to see that one of you's happy. Oh, congratulations, Dad. Just like old times, eh? I know I can't claim to be the best dad in the world, but all that's going to change. I mean, you lot are going to have kids one day, and I want to give them the security that you lot never had. I think we should think about opening the club. Look, I did it for all the right reasons, for your future. What's the crime in that? Better get off. Sharon. No, that's right, I'll deal with it. You idiot! Why? What did I say? Look, what's going on? Nothing. Oh, don't give me that. I know I've said something to upset you. What is it? It doesn't matter. I know how you feel about the Vic, but things can only get better. Dad, it's now. not about the Vic, it's about me. Well, what about you? No, all that talk about the future. Maybe things don't always turn out the way you want them to. What do you want about? Your great dynasty, Dad. You know, it ain't gonna happen. Not with me anyway. What do you mean? my own. Why didn't you tell me this before? I don't know. People are scared of disappointing you. Disappointing you? You could never do that. Dad, when you came back to Walford, one of the first things you wanted to know was if you were granddad yet. And you've just been at it again, so don't pretend that it's not important to you. It's not. It's to me. We adopted you, your mum and I. That worked out all right, didn't it? It's not the same as your own flesh and blood, though. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. You're my daughter. You always have been, you always will be. I don't think I could love you more if I tried. To the Vic. I know it came like a bolt out of the blue, darling, but I promise you it's going to be the making of this family. Some love affairs you never get over. The Vic being one of them. Not to mention the one with yourself. Mm. <laughs> Dad, you know, you can't go building your life around us. I mean, we're not kids anymore. We're all going to fly the nest sooner or later. Are you trying to tell me something? No, of course I'm not. I'm just saying I'm not going to be around forever. Okay. Could be better. Right. I'll leave you two to open up then. See you, Dad. Come on, back to work. You've got no chance. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of time for this later. Yes, but I can't wait.